A continuación presentamos el devocional diario por el pastor José Manuel Sierra y traducido al inglés. En español se emite de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias y queda grabado en nuestros canales de Facebook y YouTube. Debajo en la descripción de este vídeo encontrará el enlace para los devocionales en español. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. Welcome to today's devotional. We're going to be going to a letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to a pastor. On this occasion, that pastor is Timothy. In the second letter that the Apostle Paul wrote to this young pastor in the church of Ephesus, he says in chapter 3, verses 16 and 17 the following. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the men of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Humanity is not even aware of the tremendous gift that they have received to have in our hands, in our own languages, the Word of God is a tremendous gift. Throughout the Bible, we are able to know the will of God, what he, it pleases Him and what He hates. If we want to truly please God and to have lives blessed with God's favor, with His support at all times, throughout the reading of the Word of God, Uh, that is to say, the Bible, we can know at all times what is it that God wishes and expects from each one of us. Unfortunately, there are some people who have criticized, persecuted, and questioned the Bible until they're tired of it. They believe that they have a better way of living, a better principles and values, but it is the opposite. When man strays from God and from his word, the consequences, short and long term, are terrible. It shows in the economy, in the climate change, in the lack of unity in governments, the, how is breaking up something so sacred as the family, And it is unfortunate to see how young people are today, all disoriented, empty, hollow, without principles, without goals, and sometimes even some tired of lives, even when they're so young. Even, and of course we have to say how many churches have had serious problems and they continue to do so because they have put into doctrines and commandments of men and instead of getting a stick to the word and, and faithful to the word, they have begun to give way to human methods, to personal opinions, to systems that maybe they produce certain results from their own point of view but that many occasions the only thing that they bring is problems, divisions, and heartaches. How many people have Christians and have stopped congregating and they don't want to know anything of churches, of God, of pastors, of anyone, because they have been deceived and manipulated. Because when we separate ourselves from the sacred word and we give way to, th to human theories, the problems are evident. We have known hundreds and thousands of Christians who be, that because they have not read the word of God, they were hurt, they were deceived, and they ran away like that one that God burned with the milk and when he sees a cow, he runs from it. It is time to return to the sacred holy word. It is time to put the word of God as the basis and the foundation of our homes, of our congregations, of our ministries. Because it is in the Bible where we find the, the concrete instructions and specific instructions of what God is asking of us so that way we Uh, things go well in our lives and we don't have any problems with children and marriage and with the economy and nowhere else. The Word of God has not expired. The Word of God, the Bible, is a unique book like no other book in history that can meet the characteristics of the Bible. A book that was written by more than 40 people 
in, in a period of 1,500 years in several languages, in times of peace and in times of war. The Bible is a unique book in its gender. I encourage you to read it, and I uh, tell you to read it from Genesis or to start it with Revelation, with the Gospels, and the thing is to start reading it. Because faith comes from hearing and hearing from the, the Word of God. So I encourage you to be a disciplined person and to read portions and entire chapters and also if you can memorize them of the Word of God. So that way you will have a balanced peace, tranquility in your mind and in your soul. And you are not a victim of false workers, of false prophecies of people who take text out of context to form pretexts. The Bible says that the only way that the men of God will be fully prepared has to be the foundation so that when we see, they see us, they can stand firm against the snares of the devil. I invite you at this moment that we pray together and we ask the Lord that we will love his word, that God will give us the discernment and the grace that is necessary to be able to enjoy of each one of his stories, of his prophecies, the ones that have been fulfilled and the ones that have not been fulfilled, so that we can always have the word of God present in our lives, so that way we will not be victims of no one, but that we will know at all times to discern the good from the evil, the truth from the lies. Lamp is into my feet and, and light into my feet, says the psalmist. Let's make of the Bible the foundation of our lives. Let's pray, my dear brethren. Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you very much for this new day of life that you're giving us. And thank you with all our hearts for the gift that you gave us, the Bible, the Word of God, in our own languages, so that throughout it we can know your will and we can prepare ourselves to serve you better. We put our lives in your hands today and we ask you your protection. Guide us and show us, Lord, what we have to do today and what we don't have to do today. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your presence in our lives. Bless and take care of your beloved church in this day. In the blessed name of Jesus, amen and amen. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you very richly. Lord willing, we will be uh, sharing uh, the word from our churches in our churches as of 7 o'clock. And, and there we will see each other, and if not, tomorrow morning in the daily devotional. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren. We continue to pray one for each other, supporting in prayer, and putting and only our, our look into our God. Remember that next week we will be in Florida, in Miami, in Las Vegas, and in San Francisco. I hope that through the, our webpage can register yourself to be able to enjoy of these services, of these meetings that we will be having as of next week. My dear brethren, may the Lord bless you. May you have a day full of peace and of the blessing of the Lord.